It is called PTLS, Post Tubal Ligation. Welcome back guys. Um so today this is more like pure this is women talk. You know, um I'm not saying it's just for women to listen to because men can listen to this also and pass it along, okay? Because there might be a guy that end up bucking up on this video one day or someone else's video similar to this and you have a girlfriend, a wife, your sister, and cousin, whoever. So basically, this video, we're talking to bull ligation and the side effects. Yeah. There are side effects. Pretty much, there are side effects to pretty much anything, okay? Any and everything, there's side effects, especially medicine. There are always side effects, okay? Let's rewind. Back in 2017, when I had my son, um, before I had my son, I was looking up and um, getting a tubal ligation, which is where they either cut your tubes, burn the ends, or clip it, use a clip to clamp down on it, to where it's like shut tight, to where nothing can go through to the egg in order to create another baby. So, um, I had my three girls, and then I ended up getting pregnant again with my son. So, my son was due in 2017. I looked up on stuff, I read up on stuff, so I made a decision, you know, my boyfriend and I, we, talk, we spoke about it. And then, we actually came up with making the decision of just, I'll just have a tubal ligation. Because at that point in time, I was like, okay, I already have four kids, and I don't want to have any more kids. I was done. Okay, I'm done. So, I got up on the tubal ligation. I spoke to my my OB. Um, they gave information on it. You know, what to expect, what to do what, during, before and after. So, I had my son in May. So, this is 2023 right now. So, I'm going on almost six years because June 1st is when I had my tubal ligation surgery done. I had my son um, May 31st, and then the next day I did my tubal ligation, which I did not have a C-section. So if I had a C-section, they would have went ahead and did it right then and there, but I didn't do a C I didn't have a C-section. So um, I did my tubal ligation the next day. Um, Mine is where they didn't, it wasn't like they cut anything. As I said, I didn't do a C-section. So it's not like I have a scar from one side to the other. Mine is where they went in on the beside like my belly button. And I don't know what they use, but that's where they went in beside my belly button. And they did the surgery there because um, when I got home and I look at it, it was just a little tiny hole. To me, it kind of looked like it was like um, the hole kind of looked like I got a shot. You know, like you get a vaccine and they use the bigger needles. The needles, like, but you can see just a little that That's what mine kind of looked like. It didn't look like it was a big hole or anything. And I was thinking to myself, like, I'm like, how? I'm just, I was amazed by how they did that and remove, remove my, some of my tubes from that little tiny hole, okay? But no joke about it, it was not a pleasant feeling after because I was hurting so bad. I never hurt that bad. Not even giving birth was not that bad. So at home, I had two... I had two different pain pills. I think I had Percocet and I had ibuprofen. And they were like every four hours. So me knowing myself, 
I didn't like taking pain pills. So um, we decided that we we're gonna go to the store one day and I didn't wanna take, I took my pain pill before, but within the time that I was, that we were getting ready to go to the store, it was probably like maybe about 20 minutes or so before that pain pill that I took start wearing off. So I decided I wasn't gonna take any more pills and I was gonna try to bear it because I, first and foremost, I don't like taking pills. I don't like taking pain pills. So I'll just try to like work through it until it like stop and go away. So we went to the store and meanwhile we were at the store, the pain pill, they wore off. I was in so much pain. I couldn't walk anymore. I had to get on one of those like scooter thing that they have in the store. And I had to ride in that around the store. When we finished, got out to the car, I could not stand up once we got out to the car. So my boyfriend had to literally help me get up and get into the car. Those two little holes that they made on my, by my belly button. Let's fast forward now. So in 2018, I started realizing that um, my period started coming back. So my period started coming and now it switches up. At one point, I would have a period and the next minute, I wouldn't have a period. The next month, I wouldn't have a period. So I took a pregnancy test like, I'm like, okay, I just had this procedure, I'm like, what is going on? I can't be pregnant because I just did this. This is the reason why I did this. So a period one month, no period the next month. And then I'll get period like one, two months after. I'll come back and so I was like, okay, something's not right. So my period is now, <laughs> my period is going crazy. So I started like asking questions about the tubal ligation. And even when I went back and do, you know, we gotta go back and we do like our yearly checkup. So when I went back and I, it was the same doctor. So I spoke to her and I asked her about the tubal ligation and what are side effects. And I said, does it changes your period? Does it um, give you heavy period? Sure enough, she said no, okay? She said no. The same year, 2018, 2018, I was having, my period is skipping. My period would be skipping a month or so. Then my period started coming and my period is heavy. When I say heavy, I mean heavy. Sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm just bleeding out nonstop. I was having missed period. I would have my period the next time. I was having really, really heavy period. Um... I would have really bad stomach cramps. Um, that's when it started. Really bad stomach cramps. When I say bad, my stomach cramps felt like I was having contraction. That's how it felt. That's how it. That's how I was hurting. That's how I felt. Cause it would be in my lower back and in my abdomen. Yes, I would be hurting so bad. And with my heavy period, when I say heavy, I mean heavy because before I could, I usually use a regular side, a regular pad. And then after I did my tubal ligation, I had to switch to heavy pad, a longer pad, or try to use like an overnight pad, which is crazy. Like I went from one thing to another. I just switch up just like that. So, and on top of that, I could tell my period is getting to start like a week before I have my period because I start my breast started getting so tender and then my stomach start cramping so bad like a week before my period comes on. That's what happens. Yes. So guys, one day I got up and um, I had to go to work that night. I was already started. I already started cramping. I got up, I went to work, and probably about one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, I started cramping more. It got worse. It really, it got so bad to where I don't have, I don't have high blood pressure. I was in so much pain. I was about to just clock out of work and take myself to the hospital because 
I couldn't figure out what was going on or why I was hurting this bad. We took my blood pressure at work, okay? This pain sent my blood pressure. I was like uh, above 200, my top number, and my bottom number was over 100, like 190 or something like that. I did have some um, Tylenol in my bag. So I went ahead and I took some Tylenol and just waiting for it to like calm down, calm down. So actually the next day was Halloween and my kids and I, we made plans to go out trick or treating. And we already created our um, costume that we're gonna be wearing, okay? But when I got home that morning, I was still hurting. Not as bad as how it was around one or two in the morning. But as I lay down, it started getting worse. It started coming on again. And it felt like, that's as I said, it felt like I was having contraction because it would come on and it would hurt so bad. And then it would just like die down. It would just like go down like nothing is going on. And then give it like, 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, then the pain would just come right back on again. It was excruciating. It was unbearable. So, um, I called my boyfriend and I spoke to him. I told him about it. He did came home a little bit earlier. So uh, I got up and I went to the clinic to get checked. And I'm saying I was, when I was at home and I was hurting so bad, I was just laying there, just cramping, tossing and turning. One of my daughters, she, my kids are always like, mom, are you okay? One of my daughters, she'll go with a washcloth and she'll bring it to me. She put it on my forehead and we're like, mom, here, put this on your forehead, keep it there. You know, and it's like, it was, it, it was that bad. So I went to the clinic and that's when they prescribed ibuprofen like, 800 um so i was explaining to them i was telling them what's going on how i feel and i explained and i told him i had a tubal ligation and i asked them if the tubal ligation has any side effects like these and the doctor looked at me and told me no it doesn't come with any side effects these doctors and what they will do just to get paid so guys I had that prescription, okay? I sent it into the pharmacy, collected the medicine from the pharmacy. Later on that night, like seven o'clock or so, seven, eight that night, um, I was home and I was still hurting, but I already took some of, I already took ibuprofen from earlier when I picked it up, okay? It was not helping. Mm -mm. And then I was hurting, I started hurting, I started cramping and cramping and cramping. So I told myself, I was like, okay, this is more. I'm like, this is too much. So I'm not going back to the clinic. So I took myself and I went to the emergency room, okay? I told them what was going on. I told them how I was feeling and I was checked in within no time, okay? They took me back. They did so many tests, guys. They did so many tests. It is no joke. Okay, they did CAT scan, they did ultrasound, they did blood work, they did they test urine, and they came back and they said they can't find nothing, not one thing they cannot find. They didn't find anything. So I'm thinking to myself like, what is going on? But at the same time, they told me that they'll give me some medicine in order to calm the pain down, you know, ease the pain. They gave me morphine and it actually helped but at the same time, within a couple minutes after them giving me morphine, I felt kind of drowsy a little bit and I was like already feeling sleepy. But the pain, it was easing the pain. I wasn't in that much pain anymore. Hospital, you know, they told me they couldn't find anything. And so from there, I went home. So I started like searching and checking and checking what's going on, what's going on. So I ended up finding, now I, I put in like my symptoms, I'm type, I'm always on YouTube, I'm always on the internet trying to find out what's going on or is there any, um, anyone else out there, any other woman out there complaining about, you know, having the same kind of pain, the same kind of symptoms that I'm having from having a tubal ligation. Let me tell you, so I started searching and searching and I'm bucking up on all these ladies and they having the same symptoms and then, um, actually back up on the video of an actual doctor talking about the symptoms that you can have and the side effects 
from having a tubal ligation done. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tell you guys some of these symptoms that I have picked up on, okay? And all of a sudden, this year, 2023, I started having like really bad migraines or I have like really bad headaches. My AC could be at 78 and I'm okay. I feel like I'm having hot flashes. I feel like I'm hitting, you know, people talk about you going into menopause. I feel like I'm going into menopause sometime. I'm like, I'm too young for this. Like brain fogs. I feel like I could tell myself from my kitchen to walk to my washing machine um, or to my room. Oh, I'm going to my room to go pick up something. But as soon as I get to my room door, I'm looking and I'm thinking to myself like, what was I coming over here for? Ladies, read into things. Look up a lot of things. Read into it before you get things done, especially in tubal ligation because we all think, it's not every one of us is affected at by it there's some women out there that really don't go don't have all this issue that we're having that i'm having right now but there's a lot of us out there that's going through the same things so um, let me tell you what i found and most of these women will come out and say guys from these women to myself all over the world we're the only the only thing we have in common is that we had a tubal ligation. The symptoms start coming in. Yes. It is not nice. It is called PTLS, post tubal ligation syndrome. That's what it's called for us having a tubal ligation and then everything start happening after. I feel like I'm a different person. I feel like everything changes. I have mood swing. One minute I'm happy and the next minute I'm upset. I'm sad for what reason, I don't know. My weight is just coming on. I could be dieting and exercising, but nothing is working. And instead I take the weight off, the weight is sitting on me. Post tubal ligation syndrome, yes. And I'm gonna tell you some of the side effects. A lot of these women, what we have in common now from having a tubal ligation, okay. Weight gain, pelvic pain, increased headaches, mood swing. We all have that in common now. Heavy periods, it's there, we all have it. Hot flashes, chronic fatigue, irregular period, um, brain fog, and from this doctor, and when I actually researched after he spoke, I went back and looked. You can uh, start swelling, have fluid retention. Question, when your tubes are tied, they not only crimp the fallopian tube, but they include the blood vessel that goes to each ovary. You do this on each side. The ovary does get blood supply from two vessels, but so do a lot of tissues. That doesn't mean you can cut one off or crimp it and block it and the tissue is not affected. And we see this from time to time in women that have their tubes tied. You might lose a little bit of each ovary and feel fine. You can lose a lot of each ovary. They can be left severely damaged and almost throw hormones around randomly. It affects to dominate. So estrogen becomes the dominant hormone. This can cause, cause severe mood swings, irritability, headaches, even, um, even migraines. They're long-term side effects for having a tubal ligation. It's direct to me. Yes. Um, a tubal ligation could cause you later on in life to have an hysterectomy. Breast cancer. From a tubal ligation, you can get breast cancer. We can get breast cancer. Ovarian cancer. We can get ovarian cancer from a tubal ligation. This is sad. We can have hormonal problems from having a tubal ligation. We can have early menopause from having a tubal ligation, guys. A tubal ligation can send us females into early menopause. Yes, those are long-term side effects. When they clamp your tubes or they cut it or they tie your tube, your hormones start going crazy because our body is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. 
we are blocking what our body is supposed to be doing when we decide to have a tubal ligation. When we clamp that off, it's not sending. It's like, okay, say you bump your toe. Remember, once you bump your toe, there's a message sent to your brain and you're like, it's gonna tell you, oh, is either you're gonna flash your finger, or you're gonna jump up, or you're gonna curse, or you're gonna cry, or it's the same thing. We lock off our cuts, clamp off our tube, tie it off, burn it. That message is not going, our hormones are gonna go whack. It's gonna go all over the place instead of doing what it's supposed to be doing. So now we are messing with our natural cycles. We're messing with our body. We're messing with our hormones. We literally changes what our body is supposed to be doing. We messed that up once we had a tubal ligation. Once we decide, to go in and do that surgery and have a tubal ligation, we literally mess that up. Yep. So no wonder why I be having hot flashes. I have mood swing. I don't like the feeling. I wish I could change it most of the time. I don't like the way that I get. It doesn't feel good and sometimes one day I could be so happy and up and doing things and the next day I'll just wake up and I'll just be upset like something is wrong something something is wrong but I can't put my finger in what is going on or why I'm so upset or what is what makes me upset and that is not normal at all and this is sad to know that it is being pushed to the side and not being spoken about. They haven't talked about this. These doctors, oh, there's no side effects. There is side effects. Because when I go and I ask the body, they tell me there's no side effects. And you don't get heavy periods from it. It doesn't change your cycle. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because I know my body. And I knew that I never had a period for seven days. I always had a period for five days. And then it's finished. I never had heavy periods. I used to wear regular pads. I can't wear regular pads. I don't wear regular pads. I'm scared of going out when I have my period because even though I have on a heavy, a heavier pad for a heavy period, I'm checking up. Well, I want to get up and go check myself every 30 minutes because within 30 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour, that heavy pad is already filled up. I have to change it. So. I, I, most of the time when I have my period, I try to wear black bottoms because I don't want to have to go out and something happen or I got my clothes messed up and look, try to embarrass myself in public like, and on top of that, a lot of my, my sister asked me not to do this. My mom asked me not to do it, you know. And I thought I was doing the right thing for not wanting to have any more children um, because I already had three girls and then my last one was a boy. So I was excited to have my boy. And I was like, okay, we, don't have, we, we won't have any more kids and this could help us. Ladies, please do your research, okay? I am not happy with this. It's really sad to know that this is the outcome from having the tubal ligation. Um, do your research, read upon things, please take your time to read it, take your time to go through and do your research to find out exactly what's going on, um, what are side effects, because it this right now, side effects, it's not nice, no, it's not pleasant at all. And they say sometimes women have regret. Yes, yeah, some women might have regret because some women might have one or two kids and then they tie. They do a tubal ligation because they don't really want to have any more kids. But then they end up meeting someone else later on in life that want to have another child that they love and they're in a relationship where they got married and want to try and have another child. Or this person might want two more. Or later on they can decide, oh, maybe I want to have two more kids later on. And they don't want to try to undo it ladies it damages the rest of your tubes so basically that's what actually you know get you sick or having you end up having to get a hysterectomy to take out 
So do your research, please. Check up on things. If I actually had read up on all of this, if I saw all this when I was getting my tubal ligation, before I got my tubal ligation, I would have never done it. So, and at the end of the day, I would have never got it. I would rather take some pills or have my boyfriend wrap it up. Excuse my top, but take some pills, wrap it up. And at the end of the day, if I knew this was what it was, I would rather have another child than to be going through this right here. Um, just think about what you're doing. Read up on the tubal ligation, look at the side effects. And if you still decide that that's what you want, then it's up to you because it's everyone for themselves. I can't tell anyone not to go ahead and do a tubal ligation just because, but the side effects are there. You have actual doctor who was talking about it. A lot of these doctors sweep it under the rug like it's nothing. They don't talk about it. It's not something that they come out and talk about just like that, okay? But at the end of the day, we need to look out for ourselves. We need to protect ourselves. Until then, guys, from the Jamayan family to your family, you have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye for now.